Hello, thanks for clicking on my video. Welcome to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. If you are new here, consider joining the family by hitting that subscribe button and remembering the notification bell because that way you'll be reminded every time I upload a video. My name is Jenny and on this channel I create budget-friendly home decor that's easy to do. So if you want to see some of my creations, keep watching. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching another one of my videos. I'm going to be creating some bathroom decor and some decor for a stand outside of my bathroom. I'm going to be using three of these wood planks from the Dollar Tree. I also have some wood letters and these were 98 cent at Hobby Lobby, but the Dollar Tree do have wooden letters also. I have some white and some hazelnut Waverly chalk paint. The first thing I'm going to do is glue these three wood planks together and then after I get them attached with the hot glue I'm going to take two of the tumbling block pieces from the Dollar Tree and attach those to the back for extra support. Now what I'm going to do is paint this using that hazelnut color and I'm not going to do a full coverage. I'm just brushing over it, making sure that I leave some of that natural color in some spots. And then what I'm going to do is take that white chalk paint and I'm going to use that to paint over these little wooden letters. And after I get that complete, what I'm going to do is place these letters on my now sign the way I'm going to glue them down using some hot glue. And this sign is going to say bathroom. And then once I get everything positioned, I'm just going to take my hot glue to tack everything down. And I may hang this sign above the bathroom door or I may add a hook and hang it on the door I'm not sure yet so after I get all of my letters tacked down what I'm going to do is just take my Dollar Tree sanding block and I'm just going to sand over this a little bit and then what I'm going to do is flip it over and I'm just going to add some jute cord to the back so that I can be able to hang this sign and then once I get the jute cord attached, this sign will be complete. And I love how this turned out. This is very simple, very farmhouse, but I absolutely love it. And so now what I'm going to do is get started on the second DIY for today. And what I'll be using is three of these little wood boxes from the Dollar Tree. And I'm not going to use the inserts for this DIY. I'm going to use those inserts for a later DIY. And I'm also going to be using a pictured frame from the Dollar Tree. And it's an 8 by 10 I also have some letters here from Hobby Lobby and I pay like $2 for that pack with the 50% off. And then I have this really pretty pick from Hobby Lobby that I paid $2.50 for. I absolutely love this pick and I have this styled in my house in some bases. So I thought that was really pretty. And I also have a piece of cardstock paper and I'll be using the same color paint choices. Well, not the white chalk paint, just the hazelnut color. So what I'm doing is just removing the backing and the glass from the frame. And what I'm going to do is glue these three boxes together. I just lined them up to make sure that they all are the same size because sometimes these boxes be different. And then once I get everything glued together, I am going to paint that frame as well as that box with that hazelnut chalk paint. And so after I get everything painted, what I'm going to do is take my cardstock paper and I'm going to attach it to the backing from that picture frame. And I'm just going to remove that standing piece because I will not be needing that. And then I'm just going to take some hot glue and I'm going to add it in the corners. I don't have to add it all around because this will be inside of that glass. And once I get that attached, what I'm going to do is take the letters and I'm going to add the word fresh first.
And then right up under there, I'm going to go in and add the word towels. Now what I'm going to do is just add the glass back and then I'm going to add the backing. And I am going around this to secure this with some hot glue because this is a Dollar Tree frame and I do not want it to fall apart. I also added some glue around the hanging piece. Now what I'm going to do is I did take some hot glue to attach this but what I ended up doing was removing it and using some E6000 which is what I recommend because this will be hanging and you do not want anything to fall apart. Now what I'm going to do is clip those florals off the stem. We'll just clip the stem down and keep all of the florals on that stem so that I can add some hot glue and I'm going to attach this right in front. And then I'm just going to make sure that everything is tacked down. So I'm going to add some extra glue just to make sure that all of my florals are tacked. And this is done. I absolutely love it. I think it is so pretty and I cannot wait to style this in my bathroom. And now I'm going to get started on the next DIY for today and I'll be using those three inserts from the wood boxes. I have two of the Dollar Tree tumbling blocks. I have one wood plank out of that six, six pack of wood planks from the Dollar Tree. I have some of the Dollar Tree poster letters and I'm going to be using some white and some hazelnut shark paint. What I'm going to do first is glue those three wood inserts together. And now what I'm going to do is attach those two tumbling blocks. I'm just going to add one on each side to create some little legs. And then once I get that complete, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this box using that hazelnut color. And then I'm going to paint that little wood plaque using the white color. And then after I get that complete, I'm going to take those poster letters and just add the word soap to the little wood plank. And then what I'm going to do is just take some Mod Podge to protect those letters. And after I get that complete, what I'm going to do is just glue that down right in front of my three boxes covering those holes. And this is complete. And I just added some soaps to this and I think this is absolutely adorable. And I cannot wait to style this in my bedroom. And now I'm going to get started on the next DIY and I'm going to be using one of these little white baskets from the Dollar Tree and I have two of these signs and these say relax from the Dollar Tree as well and I'm going to be using some hazelnut and white chalk paint. I'm just removing the strings from these signs and I'm going to add some hot glue so that I can glue these two signs together to create a more sturdier piece of wood. And after I get that glued together, I am going to take some of that Dollar Tree spackle just to cover up that hole. The next thing I'm going to do is sand over that and I'm also going to go around the edges. When I glue two signs together, I like to sand around the edges just to kind of blend the signs together. And then what I'm going to do next is paint this using that hazelnut color. And then what I'm going to do is take that white color and I'm going to dry brush right on top. I'm just creating a really simple little small stand to sit in the corner of my bathroom to hold like some florals or some candles. And so after I get that complete, I'm just going to get the basket and I'm taking my fix-all glue from the Dollar Tree and some hot glue just to attach the top. And this was really simple. I let it dry and I think it turned out really cute. And I'm just going to style some floral on top or maybe some candles. I love how it turned out. And now for the next DIY, I'm going to be using two of those tall candles from the Dollar Tree. I also pulled off 
some florals from one of my Hobby Lobby picks and I'm going to be using some white chalk paint. What I'm going to do first is paint both of these candles using that color. And after I get that complete, I decided to use some of my yarn jute cord from the Dollar Tree to wrap around the top rim of the candles. And I'm going to do this to both of them. And I thought it would be cute to use the white yarn cord instead of the normal jute cord that I use and so now what I'm going to do next is just attach my flowers and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the greenery pieces first and I'm just going to attach it right to the bottom I'm going to take some extra hot glue just to make sure that it's tacked down in some spots and then what I'm going to do is repeat that step and do the exact same thing to the other candle and I'm just going to attach the greenery down a little bit further up and then once I get that done, what I'm going to do next is take my two floral pieces and I'm going to attach those to the bottom of the green pieces that I glued down. And once I get it attached, what I'm going to do is take some extra hot glue and attach some of those leaves down to make sure that everything is secured. And I absolutely love how these candles turn out. They are so simple, but they are so pretty. I absolutely love these. And so now I'm going to get started on the last DIY and I'm going to be using two more of those boxes with the inserts from the Dollar Tree and I will be keeping the inserts inside. I have some small pieces of foam that I had left over that I'll be using and I have some more of those florals from Hobby Lobby and I have a four stems and these were $2.50. And so what I'm going to do first is I am going to paint these boxes using that white chalk paint and I am not going to remove the inserts because you're not going to see the sides of them if I don't paint them because I am going to glue those down. So I'm just sanding around them after I painted them both to bring back a little bit of that natural color. And then after I get that complete, what I'm going to do is just pull the inserts out so that I could slide my foam blocks in the inside and then once I get my foam blocks is in I'm going to add some hot glue that's just to glue them down and then after I get that complete I'm just going to add my long floral stems inside the holes right into the foam and what I like about these is this is a really budget friendly way to get a nice high-end looking Piece. I absolutely love how these turned out. All I'm doing is adding them into the foam and I'll use the leaves to cover up the holes a little bit so you won't see the foam. And I do love how these turned out. They are so cute. Thank you all so much for watching another one of my videos. I absolutely do appreciate the support. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. As always, in the comment box below, let me know which one of these DIYs were your favorite. And here is a second look of all of the DIYs that I created today. Until next time, my friends, stay safe and I will see you in the next video.